Sometimes, when you touch something metal, you can get a little electric shock, even if it's not connected to a power source. And it's all because of static electricity. Static electricity is a buildup of electric charge on an object, and it can have some pretty strange effects. See, everything around us is made up of atoms, which have a positively charged nucleus, surrounded by negatively charged electrons. Normally, the positive and negative charges cancel out, because they are the same number of each. So the atom has no overall charge. It is neutral. But when you rub one neutral, electrically insulating object against another, some of the electrons are transferred across, leaving an excess of negative charge on one of the objects and a deficit on the other. The combination of charges in nearby objects can create attractive or repulsive forces. These are non-contact forces, so the objects don't need to touch. Opposite charges will attract and like charges will repel. When I rub this balloon on a jumper, it becomes negatively charged. Holding it near this uncharged wall, it repels the electrons near the surface, leaving a slight positive charge, which allows it to stick. This Van de Graaff generator helps to build up electrical charge so we can see its effects. Electrons are picked up by the rubber belt and transferred into this conductive metal dome and anything that's touching it, like these aluminium pipe cases from my recycling bin. Negative charge flowing into the pie cases causes them to repel one another. But without any way for the charge to escape, it builds up in the dome. You can discharge a charge object by giving it a way to drain its electrons into the ground, like by this conductive rod. There it goes, a spark forms as the electrons jump across a gap. And that's why you sometimes get a static electric shock. <laughs>